Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The coronavirus pandemic continues to push Kentucky's medical system closer to the brink. Hospitalizations continue to be near record levels, and the number of patients in intensive care or on ventilators is at an all-time high. Governor Andy Bashir says the state is very close to seeing a true crisis in its hospitals. So yesterday, hospitals dipped a little bit from the day before. We'll see. I mean, that was the first day in, I think, 44, 45 that that had happened. We'll see. But the ICU set a new record, and we've set a new record after record after record. Intensive care unit is called that for a reason. You're in trouble when you're in there. You got great people there willing to help you out. But but again, there is a limit on ICU beds in the state. Right now, we fluctuate anywhere from about 115 adult ICU beds left in the state to about 145. But if you can see at that growth, we have three bad days. We have three bad outbreaks and we're in trouble. And remember, those are statewide. And a lot of those are, are in Louisville or Lexington where there is additional capacity. You talk to the regional hospitals, they might not even have an ICU, but they're treating those patients. They got people on a ventilator in the emergency room that they can't stabilize to ultimately move. And those that do, uh, they are full. And while the lack of beds is a concern, the state is also beginning to see widespread shortages of staff as well. Our information today, um, uh, says we've set a new record for hospitals that are at the critical staffing shortage. This is, you can call it out of space or out of people, this is out of healthcare capacity. 62 of 96, we've reached two thirds of our hospitals at critical staffing shortage. I mean, it wasn't two weeks ago that we were at a third and then we almost immediately went to 50%. These numbers are growing uh, every day. The governor's remarks come the same day that Appalachian Regional Healthcare announced that its morgue at Hazard ARH Regional Medical Center is full. ARH said in a statement that the only reason the hospital has not had to call for mobile morgue units is that a local funeral home has donated space for more bodies. Both ARH and Governor Bashir repeated calls for Kentuckians to get vaccinated and to continue following guidelines regarding face masks and social distancing.